and very soon we are going to see a video animation explaining the configuration of the LHC. Here you have the graphic reconstruction of the LHC machine 100 meters below ground under Swiss and French territory. And we are now zooming on to point two, interaction point two of the LHC machine where the ALICE detector is located and where collisions are actually now happening. This is an image of uh, the ALICE detector when it was being installed. And the red part is the big magnet of ALICE. And this is a reconstruction of what the protons are doing right now, entering the detector from right and left and colliding right in the middle, generating these fantastic explosions of new particles that are being detected by the ALICE detector and reconstructed, as you can see on the screen, as what physicists call physics events. In this graphic reconstruction, we see a simulation from the ALICE detector. Now we are no longer talking about simulations. The events are real and are happening right now. And we are zooming back with a view of uh, the LHC animation down to the Atlas Cavern, 100 meters below ground. This is the Atlas Cavern during installation of the huge detector. We can see the solenoid magnet, the silver big piece with the orange stripes, and these are the, the end caps of Atlas, 26 meters high. And this is inside the beam pipe, and yeah, we are now traveling together with the protons, exactly what they're doing right now, coming from right, left and right, two beams of protons meeting right in the middle, of the Atlas detector and providing the beautiful events that all the physicists are now ready to study and to analyze. We are continuing with the graphic reconstruction still in the Atlas cavern. Another representation of the collisions events. This is just a representation, but the events are actually happening right now. And these are the sub detectors with the identification of the various particles resulting after the collision. This is the CMS cavern at point five of the LHC, 100 meters below ground under French territory. This is again the CMS detector during installation a few months ago. You can see the beam pipe crossing the CMS detector and bringing the protons from both sides, colliding them right in the middle. The collision point is surrounded by the various components of the CMS detectors, each of them specialized in identifying the different particles that emerge from these collisions between proton protons. Again, we can see the various sub detectors of CMS, each of them identifying a different particle tracks as they are produced in the LHC collisions. And to complete the circle, let's go to point eight around the LHC ring. This is the LHCB cavern 100 meters below ground. And this detector, these are views from the cavern of the LHCB detector with the various pieces of the detector during installation a few months ago. And you can see the special configuration of the LHCB detector. Instead of surrounding the entire collision point with an enclosed detector, the LHCB experiment uses a series of sub-detectors to detect mainly forward particles, particles that uh, are created very close to the collision point and all the array of detectors can follow over a length of 20 meters. And this is a real event recorded uh, in November and December. We've seen real events being recorded right now and in order to store and analyze all these events, the four experiments need the grid. We are seeing here a representation of the grid, the immediate follower of the World Wide Web invented at CERN, which is absolutely necessary to store and analyze the huge amounts of data from the LHC. And we are back to the CCC, live from CERN on the 30th of March. Less than an hour ago, we've had the historical moment, first collisions and seven terra electron volts for the first time ever recorded by the four experiments. 